What's up guys? So I've got a lot of requests from people commenting saying that hey they want to see me cook on the the 22 inch Blackstone and I just haven't had the time to make a video so I guess my first video is going to be the most popular item that people do on the gra Blackstone griddles is uh, smash burgers. Uh, now I have used my griddle quite a few times and I've learned a couple things along the way. Right now I'm just heating it up trying to get it ready as you can see there's a lot of you know it has been used and uh, it's a little dirty, but you know the, the flat top is clean. But um, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a little bit of a learning experience. There's a few things that you, a lot of guys on YouTube don't really point out, so I'm gonna try to point them out as we go. Especially with smash burgers, uh, it took me a good three or four tries to get it right. Uh, it's not as easy as folks say it is, but uh, we'll go through the you know go through everything and just kind of hope, hopefully people pick up a few pointers along the way. Number one, first and impor most important is making sure everything is ready. If you don't have everything ready ahead of time and you're gonna scramble and look for stuff as you're making it, forget it. It's just gonna be a mess because they dry very fast if if you don't uh, have everything ready ahead of time. Uh, if you cook them for too long, even if it's like a couple of minutes too long, it's over. You know because. Uh, you know, um, well, we'll get into the whole smashing aspect of it a little later. But right now, let's just go over the stuff we have here. Uh, I have my spice mixture. This is salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. The ratio is two, two, one, one. So two salt, two black pepper, one garlic powder, and one onion powder. As long as you have that ratio right, you're good to go. I don't have wax paper today, so I'm using uh, uh, wax coated cardboard. It does the same job. I uh, I just whatever it works. I have a six brioche buns. We've we'll been making six burgers. Uh, I have made up to nine burgers at one time on the 22 inch Blackstone. That's the pretty much the upper limit. Now I, I make my burgers pretty big. Um, these are five ounce patties, and I smash them out not too too thin. And I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, I have four cheese because I'm making four cheeseburgers and two hamburgers, and I got my butter there to uh, pre butter the grill when I put my uh, uh oh oh get get away fly. When I, when I put my uh, buns down and also put a little bit of butter down when I smash down the, uh, the meatballs. So now when it comes to smashing down the meatballs, I'm not going to smash them down to like paper thin. Uh, what happens is they cook way too fast. Uh, you get a good crust and everything, but they cook way too fast. By the time you flip them, put the cheese on, put the, you know, the bun on top, it's, it's like it's done and the cheese doesn't really get a chance to melt. So I'll show you guys how I do it. It's a little bit different from the folks on YouTube, uh, well, some of the other folks on YouTube, but hopefully uh, it works for you. So without further ado, let's get started. I actually have the Blackstone going. It's been, it's been heating up while I was talking. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's starting to, you can see that smoke coming up a little bit. So it's super hot right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put the buns on first, get those toasted, put them aside, and then do the, the, do the burgers. Okay, so the grill's been going on for a good few minutes now. I'd say about five, maybe 10 minutes even. It's super hot. So I'm gonna put the butter down first. I have a stick of butter here. This is the easiest way I thought I could do it, is just you peel, peel the paper back a little bit and you just rub it on. Oh, there's a little bit of water coming off it because I got these out of the freezer actually. But anyway, so I give it a little bit of this, just like that. Okay, put that down, and I'm getting our buns on. Just roll it in. It soaks up most of the butter. Gets a nice toast on it. And it happens very fast, you'll see. I bet you this side is already done by the time it's that's almost there you see that you see how fast that was it was it's literally like just a couple of minutes you see that there's a toasting up nice you see that oh that's nice that one's got a little ways to go but these guys i could take off These guys are probably done yet. 
uh, as you get experience also, you'll know which ones, oh, see that one went a little bit much, but uh, you get more experience on where the hot points are in the grill. So this one's got a little ways to go. This one's got a little ways to go. So a little bit more, a little bit more. So you can move them around and get a nice toast on them. The middle seems a little bit hotter than the, uh, the corners. So let me give this a quick check. This looks pretty good. Oof, it's hot. Looks good. And it's okay if we go a little bit over, it's not a big deal. It's still gonna taste good. There you go, looks good. And that's it, that's, that's buttering up and toasting up the buns. Really, really easy. Okay, now we're gonna do the start of the show, which is the burger patties. Now, heat is on really high, you see it's smoking hot. We're gonna put the butter down first. Not a lot of butter, but a little bit just so that it uh, gives a little bit of browning and a little bit of flavor on there. Okay, we got our six spots and we have a little burger too for my, get some little extra. It's okay if it's burning, it's fine. It's gonna be a nutty flavor, it's fine. Put the meatball down, you hear that sizzle? Wax paper side, wax down, wax side down first. Give it a push. I don't push it down super, super thin because I don't like my smash burgers paper thin. They come out about a quarter inch thick. Just like that. Next one. Push it down. Hold it for about five to 10 seconds once you get your desired thickness and then pull off the paper, okay? You're gonna repeat this process. First of all, before I forget, you season it. Okay, let's do the next ones. And also, I like to put sometimes a couple holes in them. If they didn't, uh, if you don't see any air pockets in there. If you see some air pockets like these came out, you're good. Okay. So that one didn't get many air pockets. I put a couple holes in it because you're gonna see when the juice starts coming up through the meat, that's when you flip it. Season that one. Next guy. Then you hold it for a couple seconds, let it get good contact, pull it off. Season. You see these guys, this is ready to flip. So I'm gonna flip this guy. You see the juices start coming up from the top there? You get ready to get, you get ready to flip this one. And you see that crust there? That's what you want. I'm gonna put the cheese on it. I'm gonna put the top bun on it. It's gonna act almost like a, as a baster. Same thing with this guy. This guy's ready to flip. Good crust there. Oh, you see that? I forgot to season one side of the other one. So let's just do this one. Season. Cheese. Top bun. Done. This guy's almost ready to flip, but I'm gonna put the other guys down first. You gotta move fast, guys. Spatula sometimes gets a little bit hot. Okay, get that down. Nice. Get this guy down. Nice. Okay. Now we got our little guy. I'll squeeze him in somewhere here. Let's squeeze him in there. Okay, season. Make sure you don't forget to season. Gotta move fast. Okay, this guy's ready to flip. I'm gonna flip him. Nice crust there. Season. 
cheese, top bun, done. This guy's still going a little bit. You don't see the, the it's starting to bubble a little bit, but it's not ready yet. This guy is done. I'm gonna pull him off. This guy's done too. We're gonna pull him off. Remember, everything is on high heat because we're still on high heat. So this guy's got to go a little bit more. This guy's almost there. I think I think he's pretty much there. This one's a little bit thicker. I didn't smash it down as much as the other one. So it's taking a little bit longer, but the juice is starting to come up. I'm gonna give it a flip. Cheese it. Oh, no, not cheese. First, season. Cheese. Top bun. This guy is done. I'm gonna pull him off. There you go. Okay, let these guys go. See how the bubbles start to come up there? You see those bubbles starting to come up? That's almost, almost like an indicator that it's ready to flip. It's not quite yet, yet but I want to get a little stronger. This guy is almost done. I'm going to pull him off. So now our four cheeseburgers are done. Okay, now we got our two hamburgers and our, our extra. Still to go. I think this one's ready to flip. There you go, not bad. Give it a hit of seasoning. That guy's gonna be done soon. This guy's ready to flip. There you go. Give it a hit of seasoning. And then we're pretty much done. We're gonna let this go for about a minute, pull them off, and we're pretty much done. Oh, forgot about the little guy. Okay, got to just keep. I don't think I seasoned one side, but it's okay. I'm actually gonna shut off the, the, the flame now. Just gonna let it cook through the rest of the way. It's gonna take about another minute, and then I'll put them on the, uh, on the buns. See that color? That's what you want. Some of it came from the butter. Most of it is came in coming from the reaction, that Maillard reaction that the meat gets. Gives it a really nice flavor. So I'm gonna pull these off. Yeah, we are pretty much done. Give that one a little bit more. It was kind of on the corner there. It just didn't really, it didn't really quite get all the way cooked yet. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn that flame up a little bit on this side. So I'm just gonna let that cook through and we're pretty much done with this guy. So I'm gonna take these inside and I'll show you how it looks. So here's the finished product. Um, again, it happens very fast. I made four cheeseburgers, two hamburgers and a small patty there. And uh, total, total from start to finish, probably less than 10 minutes. Um, again, you have to get everything ready Make sure everything is set up and, and you just got to move fast because these things cook very fast. Now, I don't smash my burgers down all the way. Uh, I don't make them paper thin because I, in my experience, I've noticed that they kind of dry out. Uh, if you smash them down to the point where they're thin, but not like paper thin, you can retain some of that moisture from the beef um, and still get a nice little crust going. So I'm going to cut into these and show you guys how it looks. Okay, so here's the burger. Has a decent thickness to it, so now if I squeeze, you'll see that juice. You see that? You see how it's nice and juicy? If I squeeze this side, you see that? It's like, you see that? It still retains, it's, it's cooked through all the way, which was what you want for uh, burgers, for ground meat, and uh, it's, it's still juicy. So this is my way of making smash burgers, guys. If you, uh, if you found any of the tips in this video useful, I'm gonna give this a squeeze so you can see. You see that juice right there? That's well, it's it's, it's kind of grease and juice, but it's all the goodness of a cheeseburger. It's not supposed to be healthy, right? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, if you, if you like this video, if you picked up some pointers, if you saw some of the techniques that I that you you know that maybe you saw in my video that you didn't see in other videos, please comment, 
like subscribe to our channel we'll put more content up as we get more experience with the blackstone and also as we learn some new recipes so again uh, I, I welcome your comments if you thought this video is useful please let us know see you soon